Hey everyone, I am back with, yes, another thrift haul video. Um, thought I would uh, wear my uh, Russian gymnast um, jacket, as my buddy Nate uh, <laughs> said to me in the chat at a live sale that I looked like a Russian gymnast coach. <laughs> In my in my sweatshirt jacket, which totally cracked me up. <laughs> so Nate, <laughs> that was a good one, my friend. <laughs> um, anywho, <laughs> I have a haul video for you from Salvation Army and Fuller's Flea Market. Now, if you did not see, um. My video before this one, I had mentioned in it that um, my friend Brenda, who owns Fuller's Flea Market, um, is in the hospital. She did suffer a heart attack about four days ago, and um, I'm just asking all of my pr uh, pr prayer warriors for your prayers for Brenda, that she makes a speedy recovery. Um yeah, 2022 is not that great of a year so far either, let me just say. <laughs> Hi, Soph. Sophie's down here rubbing her face on my hand. Hi, baby girl. Hi. You want to come say hi? Come here. There she is. Say hello, everybody. Say hi. I'm so pretty. <laughs> she is. She's a pretty girl. All right. So, um, <clears throat> I bought quite a few clothing items at Salvation Army. Um, that's where I prefer to get clothes because they're so much cheaper than Goodwill. So, um, let me see. The color tags were blue and white, were 50% off. Green tags were 99 cents. Um, where did I put my receipt? Right underneath all of these clothes? Because I know I left it. Here it is. I knew I left it on the floor. <laughs> so I spent $68.62. No, you cannot have my paper. No, I'm sorry, but I need that. She's trying to get my paper. Uh, all right, so let me start. I guess I'll do the clothing items first. Now, these are all going to be for resale, except for a couple pieces that I did get for myself. Um, look at these brand new women's boots, guys. Look at these gorgeous brand new boots. Brand spanking new black suede. They are made by uh, Hippie Laundry. And they are a size uh, where's the dang size? They even still have the uh, paper stuffed in the toes. An eight, an eight medium. Those are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh, so that was a great find right there. Um, all right, let's do, I found two men's Tommy Bahama shirts. Of course, they're on the bottom. This is one, and of course, it is all wrinkled from being in the bag. Look at this nice shirt. This is gorgeous. It is in fantastic condition. Beautiful. Um, it is a... I don't know, a 34, 35, 17, and then it says 34, 35 on the tag. 
Um, beautiful, beautiful shirt. Like I said, it's in like new condition. So I picked that up. Then I got, no, Sophie, don't lay on the clothes. Then I got this one. This one is also, now this one is an extra large. And it is a short sleeve. And it feels kind of like silky. I think it might be silk. Um, I'm not positive, but it feels, it has that feeling of silk. It is gorgeous. And it's in fantastic condition. There's no like ring on the collar, nothing. It's beautiful. Now it's full of hair from the cat. But um, yeah, it is a gorgeous shirt. And I wish it said what fabric it's made out of somewhere. But it does not. Oh, here we go. Hang on. It's got buttons in here. It is silk. 100% silk. Yes. That, what a good find. So, there is that one. Then I, oh, it's Binks that's laying on the clothes. I thought it was Sophie. She's over there. I got this for myself, just this little um, white, like a tunic to wear with a pair of um, leggings that I got, which are here. I just love the colors in these for spring. They're Lula Rose and I love, they're so stinking comfortable. So I got those for myself and that white shirt to wear with them. Um, then I got this LuLaRoe shirt to go with my black leggings. Look at it, it's mini. It's mini. It's black and fuchsia and white. So I got that for me. Um, okay. Then I got this men's shirt. This is, um, Abercrombie and Fitch. It is an extra large men's dress shirt. I don't know what made me buy, um, but they're in such fantastic condition. It's beautiful. So we got that. I got this for myself. It is a men's shirt, but I like my flannel shirts big and baggy. The women's are tapered and tight fitting, and I hate that. When you have rolls, the last thing you want is tight fitting, okay? So this one is a Croft and Barrow. This might even be, a, this might be a ladies. I'm not sure, but I got the blue and white check to go with my blue leggings that one might be a ladies um then i got this men's shirt this one is a stafford essentials regular fit 15 and a half inch collar i guess and a 32 33 which i would say is a medium and it is in beautiful condition a, a real nice, uh, a light beige color, no ring on the collar. It's in fantastic condition. So we got that one. And Binks is laying on the other ones. Then I got this one, men's. This one is, uh, I don't know if it's Joe's A Bank. I don't know. It is a large JOS. This is a really, really nice, really a nice shirt. I love the color and the pattern. 
It's beautiful. Uh, then I got this one. This is a man's shirt too, but I really like this. <laughs> this is Roebuck and Company, probably Sears. It is a large and it's got a hood. And this is the front. And I love this for myself. I have gray leggings. So there's that one. Then I got this flannel. This is Gap. This is gonna be, um, what size is this? Extra large. This is gonna be for me as well. So I did get a few for myself, but the other men's dress shirts, those are all gonna be for sale. And I'm thinking, um, aside from the Tommy Bahamas, I'll probably sell the men's shirts for like $8 a piece, most of them. Um, and this one is a Hager, this is a large. And this is a really nice one too. I love this green color. It's more of a celadon green. I know it's not, it's, it's darker, a little bit darker than what it's showing up like in the camera. So that is a really nice one as well. So that is the clothing items. Then I got this, I have to wash it. This is the bar for it to hang on. This is the Irish Blessing. Look at this, it's a tapestry like, right? But I do wanna wash it and um, let it dry hanging up. So I got this, this will, I'm planning on having you guys, um, maybe the end of February, um, or the beginning of March, um, my green with envy sale, which will be all like green items and St. Patrick's day related items, um, in that sale. So that's where I will sell this, um, this hanging tapestry. Okay. Now, uh, I got a set of four of these glasses. Uh, these are gorgeous. These are ruby red glass. It's not flashed on glass. I do not believe these are red glass with these beautiful uh, gold leaf pattern. They're all in perfect condition. So I got a set of four of those. Uh, let me put those up here in front of me. I did get a couple sets of Christmas uh, salt and pepper shakers. We got these two Santas, which are absolutely adorable. Perfect condition. And I also got these. These are so stinking cute. These little snowmen, brand new in the box. <laughs> they are so cute. Whoa. Um, I got this gorgeous Star of David butter dish. Look at that gorgeous butter dish. And as far as I know, it is in perfect condition. Um, I feel a tiny little, little flea bite right there. Um, the rest of it is perfect. Gorgeous clear glass butter dish. They had a bunch of really pretty pink depression glass, however, they were asking way too much from a reseller standpoint, so I left it behind. Um, if it's still there and it goes half price, then I might think about picking it up. 
but um and i never saw the pattern which isn't saying anything because there's a lot of patterns that i don't know but i i don't remember ever seeing this pattern before it it looked like um it looked like like little squares in a row with a design in the middle i'm gonna have to look it up and see if i can figure out what pattern it is but that's what all of the pieces were but I did get this pretty piece, this beautiful pink um, bowl, footed bowl. I sold one of these in the past, and I just think it's beautiful. I love the design of it. Now, it does have some surface, you know, like scratches, because obviously it was used, you know. But it is beautiful. So I did pick that one up. Then I saw this glass and I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish there's a set. And I looked and looked and couldn't find any other ones like it, but I bought it anyway and I'm going to put it in my bathroom. It is glass. It is this beautiful aqua frosted glass. And I have no idea who makes it, but I figured I could use this in my bathroom to put... um makeup brushes and stuff in, you know? So that's why I picked it up. But I really love the color and it will go in my bathroom. Um, I got this for myself. It is just a, uh, what do you call it? Compass. But it's a very good name brand. So I got that for me. Um, uh, this is a beautiful plate. And it is Andrea by Sadek. Isn't that pretty? It reminds me of Cloisonne. And I just, I had to grab it. I just thought it was so, so pretty. There is the Andrea by Sadek. So I got that. All right, guys, you know me and the religious pictures. I just, most of the time when I see them, I cannot leave them behind, especially if they're beautiful and they're well done like these two are. Uh, these are absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I'm going to have to touch that up. How did that happen? Probably from the dang sticker. Look at these, you guys. Aren't they beautiful? I love the, the detail, all this detailing here. But see what happened here? I'm going to see if I can touch that up a little bit with watercolors or something. They are gorgeous. The colors are just amazing. Oh, beautiful. Um, I did get this book, Santa's Favorite Cookies. And even though I did not make Christmas cookies the last two years, I am going to have to make some this coming Christmas. It's just not Christmas without me making my cookies. Um, but this has some awesome recipes in here. We have a oh, mincemeat, no thank you. Lindsayer cookies, butter Christmas cookies, Danish cookie rings, mocha biscotta, oh, almond crescents, chocolate covered cherry cookies, Molded scotch shortbread. Oh boy. I'm on a diet, guys. I lost eight pounds in three weeks. I'm working on it. What else do we have here? Gingerbread, stained glass cookies. Um, I thought I saw stained glass cookies. Am I cracking up? I am cracking up. Where the heck did I see stained glass? It has a recipe for royal icing for the sugar cookies. 
Oh boy. Christmas cookie pops. Peanut butter brickle cookies. Wow, there's all kinds. Look at those. Oh dear. So, yeah, I thought I would pick this up. And this is another really cool book. Check this out. I think Vinny would like this book. This is by Editors of Consumer Guide, Rating the Movie Stars for Home Video, TV, and Cable. I fixed the beak on the bird in my last video. He just is in the oven. The oven just went off, so I'm going to have to take him out. Um, I'll show you what he looks like at the end of the video. Uh, anyways, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Look, there's Joan Crawford. Uh, who's that? Oh, what you call it? John Carradine and Woody Allen. Um, so this is from 1983. And it has a ton of actors and actresses in here. Like there's just pages and pages. So I figured I would grab that. I knew someone would be interested in this. Oh, I hear ya. I hear ya. I'll be right back. All right. So I have uh, three more things from Salvation Army. One of them is this awesome thermos brand thermos. Uh, these are usually on the expensive side, and this is in fantastic condition. Um, it has one little, um, one little ding on the bottom here, and that is it. I mean, it is in fantastic condition. Look at that. I will wash, you know, wash the inside. But yeah, I mean, you could smell the coffee in there. I definitely got to wash that. Holy moly. <laughs> but yeah, um, these thermoses are awesome. So yeah, that's why I picked this up. Um, I never can remember this pattern. And I find it a lot. But I have a most gorgeous... Elegant Depression Glass Tidbit Tray. Look at this beauty. I can never remember the stinking pattern. But I love this pattern. This is in perfect condition, guys. Perfect condition. It is gorgeous. Yes, indeed. I love this. And then I found this. And I wasn't going to get it because it says 50th anniversary on it. But you know what? It's a gorgeous piece. And there might be someone out there that wants to get a gift for their parents for their 50th anniversary. And this, my friends, is in amazing condition. Look at that. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at that pattern on it. Oh my word. Here's the back. Absolutely stunning. So I could not leave this. I just couldn't. It's just beautiful. And I don't even really see any paint loss on the gold. I mean, it is just gorgeous. So. Oh, sorry, Soph. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> 
she's very touchy. <laughs> um, all right. So that was everything from Salvation Army. Um, I do have quite a bit from Fuller's, so I think I'm going to save that one for another another video because I'm going to it's going to take too long. So guys, uh if you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so YouTube will let you know anytime I upload a new video or go live. All right, everybody, take care, comb your hair, and I'll see you soon. Bye.